The first poet that will come to the stage is a poet that performed with us about probably eight times. He's in the building and he travels all over New York City. He goes by the name of Poet. Put your hands together for the poet that's in the building. So many people here, I'm going to do some new pieces just in case I mess up on them, you know? Alright, this first piece I'm going to do, uh, everybody heard the term justice is blind, right? Mm -hmm. you know, and, um, so I wrote this piece, you know, um, basically describing my relationship with justice, you know what I'm saying, the minority's relationship with justice. So, They say justice is blind. Well, I know she ain't deaf, so let me speak my mind. I've known justice for quite some time, and frankly, I hate the bitch. Because for as long as I can recall, we've been in an abusive relationship. She doesn't respect me, she neglects me, and whenever she has sex with me, it don't feel like we're making love. It feel like we're getting fucked. Before me, she was with my father and his father before him. They cried out for help, but she just ignored him. We've been used and abused by the system. We try to speak up, but she won't listen. Because in the judicial system, there's this thing I call the color line. Justice can see. She's just colorblind. Let me explain what I mean. The lighter your skin, the harder it is for your crimes to be seen. See, the cops can easily spot those crack rocks, but they seem to overlook a white collar crook catching the jokes on a laptop. Justice? popular. You know, everyone's heard about her. You know, here and there, a couple words about her. A as a matter of fact, all my family and friends, everyone that's related, justice seems to have dated. But they never had relations. A couple times she threw it in our face. But when it but whenever we be the case, she calls rape, says it was a mistake. And if a period's late and she starts to feel nauseous, before she starts showing, she goes to get an abortion. See, justice gives it up to everyone but us. And with us, she's anything but just. Throughout times, your actions have shown that you hated us. We're just products of your resentment. You created us. And when we act out, you're surprised. I now see this relationship as near as to mine because you even started to believe your own lies. And even though it's your place, I feel you should be the one to lead. True, the deed is in your name, but it was our blood, sweat, and tears. This house was built on our pain. Next one, it's about the American dream. You know, um, I was thinking about the American dream, what, what it meant to me, what it meant to everybody else. And it's like, I thought about it, and it's like minorities, we like insomniacs, you know, we don't really get to seek to experience that dream. So I wrote this piece called The Insomniac's American Dream. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> What's the American dream if we can't get to sleep? We're overworked and underpaid. Little girls are overdeveloped and underage, and it's as common as the cold how to catch an AIDS. What's the American dream if we can't get to sleep? What's an insomniac's American dream? They say money is the root of all evil. But money is the American theme. It's a drug, and we're just American fiends. In need of a moral detox, we need to get America clean. What's the American dream if we can't get to sleep? The Constitution is an illusion, filled with lies and confusion. The law is like reverse prostitution. Because you only get fucked if you don't have money. And we've been hungry for so long, we forgot how to eat. And the only time we sleep is when we're six feet under. I wonder if we just living in vain. And when we all rock pee, we just rested in pain. So we're wide awake and fear the nightmare. She's right there quite clear as day. A lot of y'all living in the dark, and y'all plan to stay. I try to bring you to the light and you fight. Why no surprise that hurt your eyes? Cause you've been living in the dark your whole lives. How long will we continue to follow down this dead end path? It's not adding up. We know if we bother to do the math. See, I got a foul taste in my mouth. Cause for as long as I can recall, the silver spoon has been feeding us lies. As they sit and strategize and demise, the facade called the American dream has been pulled over our eyes. Used as a blindfold. We've been blindfolded. Conditioned to listen, to not question, to never seek the truth. So it's no surprise when right in front of our eyes can't see the proof. That we just been puppets and toys, ignorant to their plots and ploys, but we can't fight it if we're not united. 
But before there can be a revolution, there has to be evolution. We have to grow as a people, or else history will repeat itself and we'll be forced to endure the sequel. And I know it's hard to accept that, although you ain't worthless, you don't know what your worth is. Think about it, you nervous? You've been living a lie, just trying to get by, you've been living to die. And sometimes things are exactly what it seems, so what the fuck is the American dream if we can't get to sleep? They push us to the side and forget us. We try to rise up and they won't let us, so we gotta take it by force. We got nothing to lose, they're 500 years and old, we already lost. And no disrespect to Dr. King, but I'm all for Malcolm X by any means. We can't have our own, then wake the fuck up, we taking your American dream. They say I'm controversial, radical, a little crazy, maybe, but I won't rest. So we all sleep on that baby. So poet coming from New York City, put your hands together for the poet. Do it real big, there's a couple of new pieces, I never heard those, I like that. <laughs>